Hello everyone, welcome to Prayana Paithyam. We have done with uh, most all of the points, all of the topics has been covered. So here comes the very most important one, cost. So what uh, we suggest is uh, prepare, uh, plan your dates. Basically, if you are planning for your Ladakh ride for next year, prepare from this year. Uh, start getting your uh, the required uh, things uh, like uh, gears and all those things. So Very first, let, let us read out for what and all things we spent money, basically. So then we'll talk a little more in uh, detail. So what you have to do and how you can plan for the costing and all those things. Yeah. So basically, uh, the things which we covered are like... Yeah, we spent a few bucks, uh, not few, like major bucks on the riding gears part. Mm -hmm. We got a helmet, riding jacket, mm -hmm. knee guards, uh, gloves and then waterproof gloves, uh, so on the stuff. And then after that, for the packaging, the packaging the like a uh, parcel, the bike from uh, uh, Bangalore to Chandigarh, for which we spent few money. And uh, apart from that, food accommodation and the flight tickets uh, from Bangalore to Chand uh, Chandigarh and uh, everything. Yeah, return return flight. And for the petrol for your road trip, for the mm -hmm. complete itinerary. And then uh, for the local shopping uh, in Bangalore as well as in Leh Ladakh. And then the permits free. So you gotta. You have a few permit fees where you need to pay. So it's in a very less prices. Yeah. And then on the spare parts thing, and then uh, the servicing your bike again in the Leh Ladakh, like a uh, uh, few bucks over there, and then the installing the Ladakh carrier as well. Yeah. So these are all the things where we spent uh, our money. It was like around. So completely like uh, to tell it, it we spent one lakh. One lakh. All together. So yeah. it's in our 2017. Yeah. So now we'll tell where you have to spend and where you can just skip it. You can ignore it. So the one thing where you cannot ignore is your riding case, yeah. your helmet and your pant or jacket or knee guard. So no skipping in this. This will take a huge investment. So what I, we suggest is if you are planning your trip in next year, so try saving money a little bit from now itself. So it will it will like a, you have will be having a 12 months of a time. So in that time, you can really invest on some good riding gears. Yeah. You can buy good one. Yeah, trust me, like uh, riding gears will alone cost you close to 30 to 50k if you're going for a very good and a very durable durable one 30 to 50k and apart and if you uh, minus or exclude these riding gears and for the rest of your uh, complete itinerary it will cost you around 30 to 50k i mean this is a 18 days itinerary and please keep this in mind yeah. and if you go for a seven days itinerary it will be <clears throat> sorry it will be still lesser than 30k it will come between 25 to exactly. 30k nowadays everything has been uh, the price has been high so you can just calculate accordingly yeah, and the petrol the, price itself yeah the petrol and for the fuel alone we spent almost uh, uh, between 8 to 10k due it was due on 2017 when the petrol rate was like per liter 70 Around? close to 70 to 75 yeah. i think so and now the rates and today as of now it's 100 rupees here in bangalore and i don't know about the other parts of india yeah so just keep this in the mind so the yeah. first investment is a good investment that is your riding case and the next investment is your like your ladakh carrier nowadays i don't think so that you need a ladakh carrier you have a multiple options you have like a saddle bags and a dirt uh, uh, i mean a saddle bag and your uh, tank bags and your uh, top, top track box. box and all so you can just go with that Again, just plan. If you are into a biking profession, if you want to take that as a profession, then investing in these things is not bad idea. It's yeah. a, a very good idea. It comes for a long run as yeah. well. Yeah, and plan accordingly. So, if you can't afford this time, you can just postpone your trip for the next year so that by that time you can save the money and consider all these points. Yeah. And the next is uh, your flights. So Vijay is already he explained yeah, about the flights. Please book it well in advance. Yeah. And the main thing which I wanted to say is food, you have, you will get adjusted as and when you go there. It uh, depends on your choice. Basically, the accommodation. So, try booking early where you will stay. Exactly like uh, if you are planning from Chandigarh, you can book a stay in Chandigarh. You can book a stay in Amritsar. You can book a stay in uh, Jammu also. But what I suggest is don't book your stay after Jammu. So, what because uh, you go there, maybe sometimes... Uh, you might feel like... Uh, Staying a bit longer in some place, mm -hmm. 
so because of that uh, you have to skip that place and then you have to go because you would you would have booked your accommodation well in advance yeah. so try to uh, avoid the advance booking after uh, jammu mm. and then please go there and then please uh, uh, explore things explore things and you obviously you will get a room for accommodation for mm-hmm. sure and people are very very so nice after kagal the places are beautiful and you will get a beautiful places to stay believe me we stayed in uh, lamai mulbek we didn't book there so we just went and we just saw here and there a uh, couple of a places and we got this place this was like a heaven the hospitality yeah people are really really nice man wonderful Seriously. so travel teaches people. you many things yeah. seriously so what we suggest is do not book stays after uh, Please, jammu yeah go there explore and make your booking exactly uh, be with uh, locals exactly. mingle so with everyone so for this uh, you have to, what we suggest is start your ride early in the morning yeah which is very important so any we- any day please start your ride as early as possible mm. uh, because of the two factors one thing is like if you start early you can reach early to your destination and you can um, rest for the day and the other thing is like if you start early you can uh, if you are lucky you can uh, uh, escape from the uh, landslide and then there's water stream crossing because after the day time the water stream crossing will be very high if you go uh, start as early as possible it will be like a, a minimal thing you can easily cross those streams and there are less chances for the landslides as well again i uh, this is no please don't take this for granted because weather and nature we can't uh, give a, a promise yeah assurance exactly. exactly so just plan yeah. uh, so we were in um, we were in accommodation right so as we don't uh, just go there explore things and book you your find place. your uh, book the your lovable places wherever you want to stay for two days or however it finds comfortable for you so after this you are uh, the shopping which we did in bangalore it was like a hopeless we bought each and everything seriously i tell you we did the nonsense uh, spending uh, here and uh, it's like a bankrupted yeah it's like a bankrupt for us it emptied our pockets uh... Like so <laughs> please do your shopping uh, brilli- i mean uh, brilliantly what That's we what say is don't shop at all yeah, don't, don't shop, shop anything for ladakh yeah. just go with whatever the clothes you have at your home present right now just pack it and just leave yeah. don't do any shop any new clothes it's not required at all so that is the best advice that we will give is and yeah you can do the local shopping in leh because uh, it's a new place and then you have um, so many new and cool stuffs for there yeah. and you can get it for your friends or for your families which we got from ladakh lays t-shirts yeah t-shirts so for our friends my brother he was in ladakh and all the bloody got this t-shirt so this is a famous thing that we, uh, we used to we were so crazy about it and we just got for our friends and relatives and all yeah. from there around like 15 t-shirts we bought from there to here and we distributed to everyone so we were they were so happy yeah So that thing you can do it's and, memories yeah and coming to the next one is the permit free so once you reach the lay you have to take the permission from the dc office to go to kardungla or pangong lake or nubra valley yeah. for which you need to fill a, a special form and then you know, you got to pay fee fee over there yeah. we had to do all these things because we were not in any kind of a gang yeah. so no so, we didn't go with any kind of a organizer so we did by or by us it's our own itinerary it's our own itinerary so we got to know many information we got to know many things because of this reason so we got to take the permits we have to do it you yeah. got to do something we are the only thing if the bike get something happen so we ha- we have to take it as vijay told in the previous video our friend the clutch cable was a uh, clutch lever clutch lever was broken so we went it, it was in a pangong so thank god fortunately we met co rider who was from karnataka who spoke to us in kannada so he got us the spare uh, clutch lever for us from there we came to lay yeah. wonderful people we met all over the journey all yeah. over the journey it was wonderful it was wonderful it was a beautiful thing and then the spa parts so please don't compromise on this one also yeah. as i told in my previous video and then comes the service so if you are riding from bangalore till uh, leh obviously uh, it will cost you some 
थ्री थाउजेंड टू फोर थाउजेंड किलोमीटर्स ऑब्वियसली यू यू हैव टू सर्विस योर बाइक ओवर देयर सो इन ले यू व्हेन इट कम्स टू रॉयल एनफील्ड दे हैव अ वेरी गुड सुपर सर्विस सेंटर ओवर देयर एंड एज यू गोर दैट यू कैन सी द बाइक्स विल बी क्यूड अप लाइक हेल्प and then you got to wait you got yeah, to wait you got to so your one day will be spent in your service itself for servicing so, so ladakh le stay for 2 to 3 days one day is for your bike service for servicing please keep this in your books and then that's it that's all all these things so the major thing you can skip is the shopping unnecessary things that you are carrying so just drop all those things don't do all those things carry minimal luggage which will cost you very less price your riding gives So if you have already spent on your riding gear, then no. It's only thing that you will be spending is flight, food, accommodation. Petrol, petrol, fuel. That's it. Wonderful, right? So just plan in advance. Plan your uh, dates for your uh, Ladakh bike ride. It's gonna be wonderful. Yeah. So we are signing off in this episode uh, with respect to the. I hope we are done. We are done Cross with race. this uh, Ladakh series, I guess. So if anything is left, we'll just uh, check it out our list, and then we will uh, post it in the upcoming video. Or uh, if you have any points to be discussed or uh, to be shared, please don't hesitate to leave your comment in the below yes. comment section. Yes. We'll be very 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 happy to uh, help you out on exactly. this. Exactly. So, ah, uh, sorry, uh, we have a few videos, especially on a uh, few things which I told you, like a Pangong, uh, Kardungla, and all. The experience is basically. Yeah, we will be sharing that. That uh, the main experience she will be uh, sharing it in a very special video. Yes. So that's it, guys, from our Ladakh series episode. So we are signing off from this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed our previous video on this video as well. And if you feel if these in uh, videos are very very informative, please share it with your friends, and please support us. Bye bye. Take care and happy riding and be safe. Ta da. Cheers.